Hey, uh, my name is Gunhild and I've had quite a few requests about doing a video showing my process when I paint with watercolor. So I thought I would do that. Uh, now this is the first time I'm making a video like this <laughs> and I'm taping it on my phone and uh, please excuse all my mistakes. And also English is not my first language. I'm Norwegian. So please bear with me and hopefully you understand everything. If not, leave a comment. <laughs> so I don't say that this is like a tutorial tutorial because there are so many amazingly gifted artists that do awesome, awesome tutorials out there. Uh, but yeah, this is my take on things. So Today, just to have fun, I'm going to use this brush uh, for the first wash. This is the Loose Goose from um, what they called oh, Cheap Joes. Highly recommend. They are cheap <laughs> and so much fun because of the, the bristles here. So, yeah. Uh, the first thing I do when uh, doing a watercolor is deciding the colors. I've already done that. I just use like a scrap and just test. So this is Nicolaso, but I'm actually going to use Oriolan. This is um, Aussie Red Gold, Serpentine and Green Appetite. Awesome colors from Daniel Smith, my favorite brand. Paper I'm using. It's the back side of another painting that didn't work out and uh, it's 300 grams or 140 pounds Saunders Waterford. So I never try to, re <laughs> to in reinvent the wheel when I'm painting so I'm just making it easy for myself uh, because after deciding colors then I think composition I just go with what's easy and I'm just doing kind of a diagonal and gonna do roses I don't use a reference because we actually we all know what roses looks like and we may think that we don't I was always like that thinking oh I don't know I can't paint it I don't know what it looks like but actually you do it's just a matter of believing in yourself and like I said this is the just the first wash and I'm just putting down some nice flowing juicy colors and the base color like I said is Oriolan that really has like this flow and push and then Aussie red gold and I'm trying just to keep everything loose and flowy and just making kind of like circular shapes because this will just be like the first wash and then I'll come back when it's dry and starting with a bit of negative painting and picking out some shapes and stuff like that. But basically, yeah, just getting some nice fluid pigments down. And also, if I feel it's not flowing enough, or there are edges that I don't like, I will go in with a, a spray bottle. 
that is almost out of water and we'll just you know soften up the edges a little bit and then also just to get some rich dark pigment like in the center to have something to work on that one i really like do you see now you don't see that <laughs> sorry this i really like that flow there so this is gonna be like my main one so the most work is gonna be on that one and then this one and the one down here it's just gonna be really loose I'm going to just add in a little bit. You know, for for the paint to work on with. And that will create some beautiful edges to work with later. Now, I don't like all the white space in here. So I'm just going to lay down little bit and also I'm gonna just soften just a little bit lower because I don't want anything to be too marked to what do you call it I just want everything to be loose. <laughs> Again, I don't know why, but I really, I so enjoy this one. It's really nice. And then we need some. And I think with the loose goose, oh, you get some really beautiful markings when you let it just do what it wants to. And also, yeah, I'm gonna just go up. Maybe you don't see that. Sorry for that, my paper is a bit too big and I couldn't get my phone any higher. So it's something like that. This is the serpentine. <laughs> it's like the perfect color. I love it. It's just amazing. The granulation. Oh, gorgeous. And then I need a little bit of dark. So then I'm going to use the green appetite. Just to get some depth in this. And Green Appetite really plays so well with um, All right, I don't like <laughs> what happened there. It's too strong. So I actually just gotta use water and off the page it goes. <laughs> Ta-da! And you can really see, I'm sorry for the glare, but the appetite, the light in here, the way it granulates, it's beautiful. And over, oh yeah, mm, love it. All right, so I'm just gonna leave this now and let it dry. 